is Tuesday, August 5th, 2014, and I'm getting ready to go to my RE appointment. Uh, a lot of my morning clips are in black and white because I don't wake up like Beyonce, so that's just the way it goes. <laughs> I have my OPKs here that I'm getting ready to do. I'm cycle day 13, uh, so I'm, I know that I'm getting closer to my peak, and I probably should have did this digital one before because it usually starts off with an O, like just because. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna take these this morning and you know let my RE know what's happening. But we're super excited. My husband is here. He's getting ready. He actually has the day off for this. Uh, he had because the appointment is in New Jersey. You know, my husband works in New York, and they said that the appointment would be about two hours. Uh, so by the time we get done, it'll be eleven thirty, twelve. And by the time he gets to work, it'll he'll be there for like three hours. Uh, so his boss just told him to just take a sick day because it just doesn't make any sense to come in for three hours. So. Fun, fun time, huh? I'm looking forward to it. I love the days that he stays. You know, oh, maybe we'll go to the movies today, Tuesday. That's an idea because the movie theater by our house, um, every Tuesday, the, every, like, all day, the movies are $6. So, maybe we'll do that. That might be a good idea because we never go on Tuesday because we're always busy. Well, he always gets in after time and then nobody won't be going, you know. Um, but, Let's see what happens. The baby just doing her finishing touches on his hair. Hey, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? They're fabulous, like me. We're back. So, <laughs> I took the test and I first time to charm. I got a smiley face. The permanent one, not the blinky one. And then as soon as I saw it, I was like, man, am I not? Cycle day 13 and cycle day 14, like, am I missing something? Because, you know, I haven't really been following my apps this month because I'm not being so crazy, crazy, crazy about it. Uh, but then here is my dipstick for you guys to see. There it is. Uh, so that's good. That'll be something that I can come Ari and that became positive today. Uh, yeah, so it looks like we're in ovulation land. The cool thing is that I was supposed to have a vaginal ultrasound today, so uh, it'll be interesting to see what they see. So we are on the train heading to the appointment. Hence, no black and white, because I don't look for my job. But we're here to make it. Good morning. <laughs> How y'all doing? Look at this, but we have, um, not we, I was going to say we have the day off. He has the day off, that's what I was going to guys. And so, it seems like we've decided that we're going to see that movie. Don't <coughs> so want Morgan Freeman. So we've made it to Hoboken. That's where the doctor's office is. And we're just walking, walking, and walking some more. They have a really nice, like, riverside thing going that we'll probably look at because, you know, New Jersey is off the side of the Hudson. So you can look from the New Jersey side, which should be nice. All right. So I just want to give my pre RE appointment thought since we're almost there I, I'm excited I'm definitely excited I'm excited about finding out something new I'm interested in the questions that are going to be asked because we filled out a little bit of questions on the portal and they really get in your nitty-gritty all up in your business so that's very interesting and I've never had a vaginal ultrasound done before so I'm interested in seeing how that's gonna go what it's gonna look like how it's gonna feel kind of thing so we should see i'm definitely looking forward to it they did inform us prior that this appointment will be about two hours so we'll share our thoughts when we get back that's the story i thought this was the cutest thing ever that little onesie right there is a gender neutral baby gift that's funny that's a cute i just figured i'd share them with you it says i love my aunt contact info available upon request they come with the most interesting things. I hope Stress making coffee. Hmm? No, mm -mm. I, I haven't even tried it. I have hot chocolate. It's the waiting area. So we just finished having the conversation with the doctor, which took quite a bit of time, me and my husband. And now he's sitting in the waiting room because I'm getting ready to get a pap smear done. Because I told you guys I canceled my appointment from yesterday because I wanted to see if I can just get everything done here. And I can, and then we're going to do the whole vaginal ultrasound thing, but I'll show you what the room looks like. I mean, it's just a doctor's office, so it's nothing 
spectacular. Um, oh, and the cool thing is that do they have like a, a TV where you can see what's happening over there? All right, so I just finished having my pap smear and my ultrasound. As you can see, I got my little Roby on. And I'd have to say this was one of my better GYN experiences. She was very good, and she was so fast. It was like almost you didn't even know. Because some people, you know, like gradual progression, trying to put the sparkle on me, and she was just like, Psh. And I was like, oh, it's in. Not bad. Um, so that was good. I was happy because, you know, um, I got a positive OBK today, so I was able to see my egg, which looks nice. It's supposed to be coming down the little tube. And I just to see the other eggs, and she was looking at my ovaries and showing me this and that. And I guess when you do ultrasounds, the doctor sees more than what you see. Because I was looking at it and I was just like, okay. The egg was the thing that I knew I could definitely see. The other stuff was just like, okay, I guess that looks like that could be my ovary. It's kind of like a grayish blob, but okay. Um, so right now I'm getting my clothes back on go and meet my husband then we have to talk to the financial person because you go through like some financial consultation here too and uh then we go talk to the nurse and then they want to do blood work sometimes fun sometimes taking the hepster away i'm actually just filling out these forms here to do the genetic testing um which basically well i'll explain it later i'll just let you know that but he's in there and going to get his blood drawn you can see across the hall fun fun times yeah, I'll explain this part of it um, when we get outside and stuff. He's back from his blood work. Yeah. With, with his star. Yeah, she gave it to me. Would you just hole. squeeze it? Oh, okay. And I was but does it squeeze it like a squeezy one? Oh, yeah. I guess it helps your veins. But you already have veins that pop out kind yeah, of. Yeah, I do. So. That was... Interesting. That was better than what I thought. That's I good. I don't like using blood taking. Nothing to do. I, I hate it. I oh. Like, oh, no. I was like... Sarah has a program usually that you need to register with for infertility, but that does not apply to your plan. So you don't have to call anybody or register or do anything. You can just go about and do your testing and all that. We just finished um, having the talk with the finance people and all the rest of that and stuff. And they talk to you based off of um, like your insurance and what it covers and stuff, but they still give you an estimate of how much things will cost like before your insurance takes over all the rest of that other stuff. The lady said to stay in here? She's on the phone. She's oh, okay, so she says, marriage. okay, all right, so that's cool. And so these are the lovely papers that they gave us, and that's the lovely number for um, if you did like a natural IUI, which we spoke about with the doctor, but I'll just explain what is happening with that later. Um, and then just a whole bunch of papers. Oh, this was today's thing. Like this is just the cost of today's thing. Um, and our insurance covers all of this. So like this visit we did today or currently doing was five twenty five, dollars you know, including the ultrasound. Uh, and then this is just all the like the preliminary testing that's going to be done. And uh, she wants to schedule an appointment for HSG today and other things. And I did my pap smear, as you've seen earlier, at the same exact time. So just in case you're wondering about the cost of things, Here's an idea, but again, like, depending on the place you go, it kind of depends on how much it could. All right, so we are done with our appointment. It's 11.48, just about the time they told us, which was supposed to be 11.30. It went very, very well. I have to give you, like, all the details of what happened and how it happened and all the rest of the other stuff later in this video. It actually will probably be closer to the end of the video because we're starving like Marvin, so we're going to go get some food, and we still plan on going on our movie date. Uh, so when I get back in the house, then I will give you more details on that. So if you're interested in finding out everything that went on, you have to stay to the end of the video, which I hope you stay to the end of the video every day anyway, you know? You know? Up and down the street for things we wanted, went into a Thai place, we didn't really like what it looked like, went to a Mexican place, not quite, and um, we finally decided that we are going to have uh, some food from this hibachi slash sushi place here. So this should be tasty, tasty. It's with the you know ginger dressing and the babe was using his chapsticks and I'm gonna use a fork. <laughs> Our miso soup has arrived. Enjoying your salad? Mm-hmm. It's good. Mm -hmm. The dressing is really good. So this is my shrimp tempura box and it has California roll, 
rice, some poor vegetables, some little dumpling things over there. And the babe got teriyaki chicken, so his little side thing looks a little different. I have never seen these before in my life. Wondering if maybe they're having like another contest or something, but oh, wasabi ginger yeah. chips. That, that just reminds us of eating sushi just now. Yeah, like and then cappuccino chips. Like, did you eat cappuccino chips? Would I? I would try it. Do not a dollar forty nine bag. Cause these, no. it's probably not. Uh, the, it's interesting to see the bags, but it doesn't sound like something I would try. Maybe wasabi ginger, but that? Mm, I don't know if I want coffee potato chips. We're heading to the waterfront, but we saw this building that is so nice looking. I'm about the School of Engineering, you see it back there? Nice lawn, we figured, why not show you guys? Uh, so we finished our appointment, which you guys already know. Um, but we're heading to the waterfront, which you pretty much can see the other side, which is New York and kind of like the skyline thing. So, let's see. And so we're going down the pier just to relax and kind of chill out. Um, this is the New Jersey side of the Hudson. The other, on the other side of the water is New York. And so that there, the big building over there is the Empire State Building. And if you look over, well behind this tree, let me see. Uh, that over there is One World Trade Center, which is our new World Trade Center building, which is pretty cool. I just love that it has this nice little pier thing. You know, me and the Hubster love water. We love our cruises and we love water, so we'll probably stay here for about an hour and just chill out, relax, walk across the water and things like that. Look how beautiful the clouds are. So it's a, be it's a very beautiful day. Very, very beautiful day. And I absolutely love when he's off of work, beautiful day or not, because it's just fun, fun times. I came across this little water fountain looking thing, and we found that it's for your fish. To clean your fish when you take it out of the uh, ocean over there. I mean, I wouldn't suggest that you go swimming in the Hudson. Because you can fish right here, and then I guess get the fish out and put it over there. But I don't know if you guys can tell, but this water... Is more brownish green <laughs> than anything. No, so, I don't, I don't, I don't know about that. But yeah, it's very, very interesting to say the least. Ooh. These are the little joys of summer. These little water fountain things kids can run through and play. Now these are a little powerful, but fun nonetheless. The things that we won't see in the winter in New York or Jersey. But they have them. We're back home and we are getting ready to just relax. We're supposed to go see the movie Lucy. And around the time that we were going past the movie theater, there was a break. So it was around 1.45. But somewhere between 2 o'clock and 4 o'clock, they don't seem to show any movies. We wasn't going to sit around for two and a half hours to wait for the movie. So we're home. We're just going to watch a movie here on the television and Max and relax. Probably take a nap too because it's been an eventful day from start to finish. So there's my salad, and there's the babe's meatball parm. 